What's up guys, what's up guys, and welcome back to the Crazy Brick. Today on the Crazy Brick, we got episode number two of Building the Christmas Truce of 1914 in Lego. So yeah guys, um, not much to say. We got some parts in. We're still waiting for some filler brick. Hopefully that comes by the end of the time I'm done filming this, or by the time I'm done fil fil filming this episode. So I can only do so much. Um, I did a little section here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I detailed that, um, yeah. And if that filler brick comes, or it's going to come, I'm, I'm gonna release the, um, then the video will be released after I do some more work. So I got, as you guys saw on the Brooklyn order the other day, I got the six by six plates. I got some one by one brown pieces, which are always gonna help. Um, I was kind of running low on them because I used a lot. So oh, 100 restock is pretty good. And then I got a hun 100 um, the trans clear ones as well. So yeah. Um, just a little restock on some pieces. Um, I think I got more restocks. Like, I have bricklink brick carts for them just in case I run out of that part or need more. I'll buy those restocks. So, yeah, guys, um, that's about it um, for just a little update here. And then we'll get into the building. Um, yeah, the 6x6 six six plates obviously could have helped a lot more because, as you guys know, in that one section that we did last week, I'll show you guys some new stuff that I'm working on too. But that one section we did last week. Um, we could use those instead of using the 4x6 plates. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm probably going to just do the rest of it with 6x6 six six plates. I think I need to order a couple more, though. Maybe, like, 10 more, I think. I think I just need, like, 10 more. Just so it... Because um, I did the measurements, I think I... Yeah. So 10 more, and I'll be good with the 6x6 six six plates. 1x2s in dark tan and really dark brown. I think I need more of those, but in... Uh, dark brown, or just regular brown... I got still probably 500. I've only used probably 200 for the section that I've done so far. So I might need another 100 of those, and I actually have another 100 coming. So that's good. Like, that's kind of why I didn't say anything. And I have more. I think I like 50 more of the dark, the very, very dark brown. Um, and by twos, here, I'll show you guys that. Let me try to focus. Well, it's not focusing, but the dark... The dark, dark, dark one by twos. There you go. It focused. <laughs> it usually never does. So, yeah. Um, and then also, I just do need some of these gr dark brown um, stems. I'm going to need a couple of those. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, that's the only things I need. And chains. Okay. Those are kind of, I just, like, literally just went down the list of everything I need. But, yeah. That's enough about that. We got a little bit of work done to show you. And then we'll get into some work. Without further ado, let's get into the second episode of Building the Christmas Truce in Lego. Let's go. All right, so we are back. I'm still waiting for those headlight bricks, you know, so I can do the trench. So you guys see how I have it laid out like that on this little section I did here. I thin I did a little bit more. Like, I just added some more stuff in, but then I started working on this obstacle here. Um, you might have saw that in the th seen that in the thumbnail. I don't know what the thumbnail is, um, but I think that this is going to be in it. Um, I'm going to be making some more of these. Um, I just need to trade some friends for, like, that wheel part. This wheel part right here, the piece that we I use in the end. So it, it looks awesome. I'm going to probably make four or five more of these. Um, just have them out in no man's land. I just had it there just to kind of see how it looked with the terrain. And it, it looks good like that. So I like it. Um, yeah, just a little obstacle that would be out in the field. Um, obviously, we need to do, still make um, the barbed wire and stuff. And I was working on, I got my whole our big old British army here now. Um, I'm going to probably need a couple more, but another sticker pack would be good. I got, um, I believe, three or four regular riflemen like that. I got the, um, forget, I forget that gunner's name, but, and then we got two more um, riflemen with heavy jackets, winter jackets, and then we got an officer and an infantry. I like that infantry jacket, so those are definitely cool to have because technically, like, you know, they'd be taking their stuff off, having fun, kind of, like they didn't want to be in full uniform. Um, this German here. Looking nice. I like this face too. It's like a, it's a, it's actually from the Battle of the Bulge American. Um, he's got like red cheeks because it's cold outside. So I think that works perfectly for that um, German there, and it looks nice. Um, so I'll show you guys the part I just did or did. So yeah, here we go. Um, so oh, Lego spider. <laughs> we got 
I did some did this entire section here. So the only thing that I didn't do was the trenches, so you guys can see the filler brick inside still. Um, obviously, it, that's easy to slide in. The trenches are easier to slide in and out. So that's why I didn't put that final strip of one by one there. I actually need to take that up. Um, but yeah, final strip of one by one there. Just need to do after I put the um, put the truncheon. So not much to do with that. So it's about so it's, it's eight or it's. 10 wide here this section was only seven so 10 wide is a lot different and it was probably better because then it's kind of a bigger section because like the little section there it looks good but then it kind of looks weird so um just being little like that but yeah obviously you see all the dark tan in there but obviously up here you can see where I started getting away from the dark tan and over there in that section. So that's what I said I was going to do. So the dark tan will probably only end, going to, end up going to here, probably, right here. And then it will be less and less dark tan. Obviously, in, one, in a blown out hole that I'm going to have right here, I'm going to have to use it. So I'm kind of running short on the 1x2s. I think I have 50 more coming. And then 1x1s still hanging in there. Probably another 300 or something. Eh, probably 400 of them. But yeah, I still got a bunch of these. Actually, I'm gonna put one. Of the, eh, no, that doesn't look good. Um, yeah, um, looking good. I'm gonna put more, one more right there because I feel like it needs something. It looks good. Um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do when I when my parts come in, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna finish this trench around here. Um, start with the filler brick. Start um, plate. Well, the plating actually inside the trenches is gonna be the last thing because those pieces I haven't even ordered yet. That's gonna be the last thing. The plates inside of the trenches. So. And finishing detailing the trenches are going to be the last thing. No Man's Land is the next thing. And then we'll probably work actually this way. And then come into the trench. And yeah. So we worked on this area um, in the middle of the trench. Which looks... I think this is... Last week we got so much work done. This is such a good section. No Man's Land is going to look even better. Because it's going to be just this big space of this. And it's going to be a little bit better too. I think... And then we'll be able to put more snow, and yeah, so it's 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 awesome so far. So yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead, um, go over there and start. Probably I don't know what pieces are coming in first, so either the trench is gonna be done, or we're gonna start doing all that filler brick. So here we go. All right, guys. So as I said before, still waiting for the profile bricks to come in. I did this entire section as I said before. So, um, now we're gonna go ahead, I have said some guys over there just messing around, um, now we're gonna go ahead and start some of this area, I got some more dark, I found some more dark tan plates, um, I, I, I ordered a little bit, cause I kind of need some more, um, dark tan plates, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, do that really quickly, so we're gonna go ahead, jump to, jump into doing that, and yeah, here we go, gonna go ahead, do some filler brick over here, um, and then might um on the outside and then we can maybe play it across there and then do some detail work there obviously the trenches i cannot do till i have the headlight bricks in um so i was just messing around with some stuff over there um some headlight bricks that um so yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be back after that so here we go all right so i got this one filler brick wall done here the outside filler brick obviously um so i'm gonna go ahead um do those dark t do those plates there and then do some filler brick because I don't have enough filler brick yet because it's probably stuck in customs these bricks sorry it's a lot of the background um because I'm waiting for some more brown bricks to come in that's probably stuck in customs because I ordered it from Canada so yeah that's the one thing about that so the mock will be a little delayed on that stuff sorry about that so yeah guys let's go ahead and do some more work here we go all right we're back we played the little section here and then obviously I'll show you guys this part so I got like the overhang here. So you gotta have the overhang and then put some tiles down. So I only went this far because I can go the other length when I get all that filler brick in to do the entire other section. I only have this much left. So um one six by um two by six uh, by one two by four and three two by two. Um so not much running out of that. Um and then obviously I think I'm just gonna start building the trenches. I think I'm gonna have a little bit extra, uh, one by twos, one by fours probably I'll run out of. So I might sell some of these one by twos, anyone's interested, um, might sell some of those. But yeah, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is detail all these. So all of this is going to have to use dark tan because it's probably going to be the first two um, six by sixes and then a little bit of the th third six by six plate down. I think I might need to get 
12 more 6x6 six six plates. Not yet, obviously, because I'm still waiting for some other parts to come in and stuff. So, yeah, um, just need to do that. Actually, I'm going to put one more plate, one more 6x6 six six plate across at the end. So, I just need to make another um, section right there and another section right there just to fill it, fill it, brick it up. So, as you guys can see, conser trying to conserve as much filler brick as possible um, by going in there. You guys can see that. Um, yeah, a decent amount of work done today, um, obviously. Oh, and then I'll show you guys this little tree I was working on for No Man's Land. Um, I think I'm going to make it taller, but there we go. Right there, so we got um, a 1x3 slope, a um, wedge plate, and a cheese slope, and 1x4s on the other side. So, yeah, and then we got a modified 1x1 one one modified plate with a um, hook. So, I'm going to change that, though. I think I'm going to make it a little bit taller, the tree. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, do some work, um, or detail that, add that one more add that one more 6x6 six six plate in there. And, yeah, and we'll head out. So, here we go. All right, guys, so I came back, and I actually played a one more 6x6 six six plate this way. So, now it's three this way, and I believe eight or... Uh, maybe nine this and one two three four five six six take that back six um, across I think it's eight across in total sorry phones ringing in the background um and then we got I started working on like a blow, uh, like a tree right here I think it looks pretty cool um, looking yeah. looking nice here um, so yeah what I'm gonna go ahead now is detail all this and yeah we'll be back after I detail that here we go We're back. I did a little bit of a detailed section here. I um, just started detailing and I put a reddish um, one by two there. Cause I think I only have like four of those. So just put that in. Thought, thought I would. Um, so yeah, I think it's looking very nice um, so far. Just need to go back, add in the snow area. Um, I did the ice thing there. And then that's probably what we're going to end up doing this week. Just a little section this week, obviously. And then going to wait for those headlight bricks to come in. Um, I already actually, I think I told you, I found two... I had my sister find two more, because um, all the leprechauns I've used so far have been in my collection, so I've used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I found 14, so I just need another, like, 10 more. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine more, actually. So, yeah, that should wrap up. Um, we're gonna go, I'm going to go ahead and add, add those snow details. And then I'll show you guys that, and then we'll wrap up the episode. So here we go. All right, guys, so back with the Christmas tree. I got a lot of progress to show you. Show you guys that in a second. But, um, yeah, the first thing I want to show you guys is I order this many, way, way too many of those trench pieces. Like, 350-something, way too many. So my neighbor who watches my um, Crazy Brick videos all the time, he watches the videos all the time, um, he, just, he, was coming, he was swimming today, and he had been talking about building a log cabin. So... I'm giving all these pieces, so yeah. Um, just giving them all those pieces, and then also we got the big Brickling Hall. But I'll show you guys that in a second. I just want to tell you guys what happened. To all these because there were two giant drawers there. I am keeping like 25 of them just in case. Um, but yeah, got this many, and yeah, I'm gonna go give it to him. Um, and then we got. I'll show you guys that Brickling Hall when I get back. 
All right, guys. It's been a while since I've showed you the Christmas truce. But you guys got to wait another minute because I got to show you guys the giant Brooklyn haul I just got in. So we get eight of these 6x6 six six platforms, which you guys didn't even see it. But look, I got the perfect space that eight can fit in. So perfect work that out. Then we got 70 brand new 2x6s of these 2x6 um, bricks for filler all the way around. And then we got another 100 1x2s, little restock of that stuff. Amazing. And then we got 30 um, 1x2s in dark, dark brown restock. Amazing. <laughs> and then we got some two um, Bren guns. Or, yeah. Or, oh my gosh, I just said Bren. Yeah. Um, two of these um, for my friend. So that's actually not in the Brooklyn call, but yeah. And then we got 100 of these um, dead plant um, stocks. And then we got 100 one by one of these. Um, so yeah, those have to stick on to the bottom of those, so it sticks on. And then we got 301 of these bad boys. There were only 304 in stock, but I got 301. Um, I always get like an odd number. Try to. Um, obviously, the one by ones I could only get them in lots of 100. So I, I understand why, because <laughs> there's people like me out there who like to do that. All right, that's enough of that. So now I'm gonna show you guys this little section over here. So I did and finished. All the trench work besides that little section right there. The little section can be done up with those brick slides. Ah, <laughs> looking good so far. Um, yeah, so when I traded them to my neighbor, I kept 20. But I had already taken them out of the bag before I showed them the bag. So, yeah, that was just that. Some of these are actually extra. I'll probably just give them for free. Um, the, the ones that I don't end up using for that little front part there. But, yeah, we got a lot of work done on the Christmas trees here. I'm um, sorry for zooming in and out. <laughs> My hand was on it. Um, a lot of work to show you, as you guys can see. Starting some snow stuff over there. There's going to be a big patch of snow. Because um, now it can extend with the 6x6 six six plates in brown. So that's amazing. All right. Um, I'll get back to you guys after I finish all the filler brick around the outside of the Christmas trees. Without farther ado, let's get into We're it. We're back. Finished that entire section. I got like 200 brown left over. I knew I was going to have a lot left over because I had found a lot in my collection. So what I'm just going to go ahead and do is put that over there. Oh, there's my other microphone. Or just drop it on the ground. You know, yeah, I was just pulling my other road microphone out. Um, that's my that's my better road microphone. I like to use this one, though, because then sometimes I forget, you know, we actually did this once, um, filming on another YouTube channel. Um, we forgot to turn the mic on, and so when we went to edit, when he went to edit the video, the entire thing was dead and silent. There's D-Day, just messing around with it. There's still, I just need it. I'm going to probably reset it up again. Um, we, oh, I think, I think we're actually going to move D-Day, though, too. Oh, there's a brown piece laying loose. But my brother was messing around. <laughs> probably threw it over there from piece over here, so. We could just go put it back in the restocks. Oh, new. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, plate the bottom of the trench. And I'll show you guys how I did that. As you guys can see, it is flat on these sides. Which looks awesome. And then, see, it looks much more flat now without using that technique I did before. So I just used two of those. This area is flat. So yeah, the trenches are done. Like this part is done. Like doing that with the trenches are done. The only thing left is just obviously detailing the trenches, which will be after we finish No Man's Land. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, and finish just plating the trench with the plates so I got. Huh? Just open this up. I've actually never had six by six dark tan plates with like eight by eight plates. Like has that one down end. So huh? Stump it out. Let me just make sure that I'm not gonna stick them down yet. I'm just gonna plate them down like this. And like, oh, I think I'm gonna have extra. I might have one extra. We'll find out in a second. One, I'm gonna have two extra, which is actually awesome. So that's what the trench is gonna look in, like in there. Looking awesome. Two extra. Hey, actually, I could just use that as six by sixes in, in no man's land. Um, actually, I'll just change that with that 6x6 six six right there in No Man's Land, and then I'll have another one just randomly in the middle. Um, yeah, that's two more less um, in dark tan, a dark brown to buy, because I still need to buy those. Um, and the next thing I'll probably do, too, is, hold on, where'd I put that? Right here. I'll probably just stick all of those together, so I have all 100 made. So, yeah, I'll be back after I do that, stick down the trench, 
Um, and yeah, here we go. All right, guys, so I got a lot of work done here. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of background noise because I actually, I just cleaned this entire room right here. So it's nice and clean other than that table. I need to go through, sort that because I'm pu pulling on my printed May figures and stuff. Because I'm gonna do a whole video showing all my printed, video, printed figures and stuff. So, yeah, um, D-Day, so I just, my brother hit the corner here and wrecked it. I need to fix that, but yeah. All right, let me just show you guys what I'm, um, what I did. So the first thing I did was finished all the filler brick all the way around there. But we have this much filler brick left and all the stuff around there. I was just messing around to see how much it would be. So 200 of those left. That's for my next mock for sure. Um, but yeah, in here, this is a list of stuff I need. I need actually just 100 of the 1x2 dark brown and then 33 6x6s. Um, well, I just need 33 more of these. So that's just my, in the final order probably. So I'll just stick one more on there. So, yeah. Oh, my brother was messing around with another British guy, probably. All right. Sorry the background noise. So, yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode. We're going to go ahead into the outro. But we got a lot of work done this week. We got this whole section done. We actually put a time lapse in there this week, too. So that was fun. Um, but, yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode. So I'm gonna, we're going to go ahead and head out to the outro. So here we go. All right, guys, we got a lot of progress done this week. We finished up the trenches, as I showed you guys. We did the inside of the trenches. The only thing left is detailing them. And um, we're going to put some, like, wooden boards and stuff in there. Um, one by four um, flat tiles. We're going to be putting those in there. Um, just as, like, boards on the ground. Because um, it was very muddy in the trenches. So they put boards so they could walk on it. So not, like, sloshing around. Obviously, it was a mess in there. It was There were rats everywhere. There was not enough food most of the time. But, yeah, um... That's what we're going to do next um, next week, next episode, which the next episode will probably be released a little bit earlier than the last one. But yeah, um, we got a lot of work done, more pieces on the way. We got the big Bricklink order in too, which was awesome. So we finished all that and I'm glad I ordered more of those because that can be for next mocks too, the two by four bricks. I got probably 200 extra, so that's a lot of extra bricks. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this episode. That wraps this up. Um, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Um, any comments or anything you think I might might change or make it better, comment down below. Um, yeah, comment down below. Anything you could make it better. Any other pieces that might be cool to add into there. Or any, any little scenes I could add in for the finale. Because probably two or three more episodes. I'm probably going to get to seven up, or five episodes. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap this up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time here on The Crazy Brick.